let's talk a little bit about tonight's poll. So, oh, I'm still making up my mind. Okay. Can kids use cannabis? No way, Jose. Fo show, mofo. <laughs> it's complicated. When you say cannabis, are you including CBD products? Because technically that does come from cannabis. Ding, ding, ding. That sounds like an, it's complicated. <coughs> yeah. But we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Okay. Uh, the reason I bring this up is because there was firstly a good Daily Maverick article. Mm -hmm. uh, they say adults in South Africa are legally allowed to possess marijuana for <coughs> personal use. Now there are controversial moves to decriminalize the use of cannabis for children. So, what has thrust the issue into the spotlight again was a matter involving four learners aged between 14 and 16 who tested positive for data during a drug test at their Krugersdorp High School. They appeared before a magistrate and in terms of a diversion program were ordered to undergo a three-month <coughs> rehabilitation program apparently devised by local prosecutors about 15 years ago. Sure. 15 years ago. Is that, that's like, that's right on the cusp of like pre-democracy. That's almost like an apartheid law, right on oh, that no, edge. Okay. 15 Bloody years ago is 2004, cool. bro. But then, <coughs> they were all backed before the magistrate. There was no involvement of a social worker or prohibition officer. The magistrate then ordered that they serve an undeterminate <coughs> period at a Pasasa Youth Development Center for Young Offenders. But he also said that within the next term, these Oaks grades must all go up by 10%. <coughs> so he was throwing extra punishments on there, like it's McDonald's special. Would you like that supersize your punishment? Mm -hmm. But then this didn't sit so well. So the matter had also raised the thorny issue of drug testing at schools. So far, only the National Prosecuting Authority is opposing legal reform, although it concedes that initial order of detention against the four learners was unlawful. So it turns out them arresting these kids and what they did was a bit of a fuck up. But what is interesting is the guys whose job it is, just to enforce the law. The police say, the police say, I'm not the bad guy, it's just my job. Yeah. But now the prosecuting authority of the Oaks opposing the changes in law. Mm. You can't enforce the law and be the lawmaker. Mm. Yeah? But now yeah. it kicked off. There was a Kate Talk story about this as well and it's bringing into question now. <clears throat> what are kids rights regarding cannabis i never thought we'd have this discussion so soon it's highly responsible of the prosecutor to just oppose without explaining why uh, there's no evidence for the decision they have to explain themselves because what we're talking about with cannabis at this point is some serious ducker muffins at school yeah that's what it was it was a it's a practical joke prank ducker Gone wrong. Muffin story going to school. It's not like hardcore drug abuse or problematic use or anything. It's a one-off where they all got nailed by the principal because they got caught, basically. That's the only thing that's wrong with them. They got caught. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if you want an answer to poll buzz, of course kids should be allowed to use cannabis products. But surely within limits, Jules. Like, yeah. let's, let's say, let's yeah, say my five-year-old pulls up here. Yeah? I don't have a five, but let's say my hypothetical five-year-old pulls up and he says, Didi, Didi. Can I have some of that white pipe? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't just give some of my pipe to the kid, man. Yeah, no. not a white pipe. Well, well, are you a white pipe, dude? <laughs> but like, to, to the dad will give his little five-year-old son a like, sip of no. beer when they're watching the rugby, or... But are you I don't like, think that should be legal. I don't think you should be allowed to. Right? What? Jules is saying kids. No, 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 but let me qualify it. Let me qualify it. That was my broad... Yes. Of course they should, if they have a medical condition that warrants it. And I don't mean CBD because people are scared of getting their kids stoned. I mean, full-on RSO protocols with as much THC in it as possible because yeah. that's the only thing that's going to puss clap whatever's wrong with it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, basically, we've got a slide that we use in our desired outcomes. It yeah. says an 18-year-old age limit unless that child is in need of medical help and yes. it's been prescribed by a some yes. dude who knows what prescription is but that's i feel it. like that's a moot i agree with the point but i feel like it's almost moot you say the kid's got cancer yes my boy you can have a sum of my pipe mm. you know if that's what the doctor says oh, well, will help you or whatever the yeah. whatever the, yeah. the, the the solution is medicinally yeah cool but these weren't kids using it medicinally these were kids at school yeah with edibles they yeah. should never be taking products like that to school so should we be fighting for those kind of rights is that not because let's say we win. Let's say we win. Next thing you know, there's edibles at the tuck shop. Not just CBD. <clears throat> um, 
There's what, another, do they sell fucking vodka at the tuck shop? No, another way of looking mm-hmm. at it is why did it escalate so quickly out of the bounds of the school? The school should deal with such mm-hmm. things. There's no way that the cops should be brought into the situation. Yeah. So, so there was an irresponsible or paranoid teacher. Adults. Somebody that made a huge thing about nothing. Close-minded adults, ruining for everyone. Yeah, like the guy that freaked out about uh, the matric pupil that did the, the sacrilegious art this week, you know. Oh, but that's another deep dive. It's out of proportion. Close-minded adults, We've ruining got a... for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Got Instagram comment. Yeah. Uh, Strains.co.za says, Charlotte's web is a strain for a girl with medical issues. Yes. Right. It was developed that, like early 2000s. Mm-hmm. That, yes. was, that was the very first one. That was the new kid on the block that brought CBD, CBD into the limelight. Mm-hmm. It's got low low ratios of THC in it. But that's for a very, very specific ep- epilepsy. Yes. It's the same cross. So, <laughs> yeah, so now everybody's on that bandwagon. Now everybody's got Charlotte's Web. They've bred it into them yeah. in the last five years. The best Stanley Brothers, right? Yeah, that's Let's, what Let's be real, hands. guys. Uh, Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web. I know you say Charlotte's Web. Please don't take this personally. Charlotte's Web is 2018. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. You can't just say Charlotte's Web. That's like saying Swaz yeah. or Skunk yeah. or Cheese. It's a very generic term now. Uh, the shit's been cloned. The, the Oaks have stolen the IP. Yeah. You know, you're going to buy it. You know, no one's... No one's really going to get it. And I heard so two years ago, they done fucked mm. up the strain yeah. anyway. Mm. So yeah, I know it's cool. It's, it's good that you woke about Charlotte's Web. But I promise you, in today's day and age... Old Just go stuff. search for something else that's like 20 to 1 or something. Yeah. You really want, you Harlequin. Know. But it's a there good we go, Harlequin. Harlequin. Great one. <laughs> it's a good story where it was appropriate for a mm. little kid. Yes, I agree. And but it normalized things as well for the old tannies who are nervous <clears throat> of things like that. Well, and because there was a kid that was involved. Exactly. Okay, so the, the poll at the moment is it's not that easy at all. <laughs> it's, no. it, it's not yes or no. It's really complicated. <laughs> it really is very complicated. <laughs> yeah. But surely, because like, let's look at the rasters now. Mm-hmm. We've seen, and it's not a criticism, but just like uh, there's commune and all those things for Christian kids, mm-hmm. the Serbia is a sacrament, and I've been in communities and seen children use it. And I can't criticize. Not my place to. Yeah. But we see these people saying the rights. What are these rights? for kids and cannabis because I feel like the medicinal things moot. If they're right. having this fight, it's gotta be about more than that. And though. why would someone with one religion have different rights to someone with another religion anyway? But let's uh, not go down that road. That's, that's episode one hundred and twenty seven. Uh, Tricome Chase has got a point. The real question is, do you want more kids on weed? Every time they do dumb teen shit while high, the media gets more arsenal put to put the, to make the weed makes you stupid shit train. Strong evidence that cannabis in children still stunts medical, mental development. Children shouldn't face any punishment for using it, but should still be not advised to, just like cigarettes. We don't have to have criminal sanctions against anybody for their lifestyle choices, including ciggies. Nobody went to jail, and cigarette use is down by, I don't know, whatever percent. Well, if the kid gets years. drunk, you don't put him in jail. No, you don't, you don't, don't even use criminal sanctions for it. It's just education and common yeah, sense. That's so that's what he's saying. You don't need to sanction... Those kids were in a room for 77 days. That's them, isn't it? I think that, it those, is. are, those are the, the ones same, from I think it's the, same ones. The, no. the, the The journalists got hold of Myrtle to... It was a whole fields of green thing when this all hit the road. But it's, it, it's been reserved for judgment till... Ah, oh, Christ, something 2020. But those now. kids will never be the same. Because also they're saying in this article, which is very good, you know, you know, there's the psychological impact of all this. But like Tricom Chase is saying, maybe the question shouldn't be uh, whether kids should be allowed to use cannabis. Should kids be criminalized? Yeah, what happens if we do? catch them? Right. Because we're assuming we're making this decision. I'll tell you, the first time I was I spoke to Joint or had a dope or did something naughty, my mommy wasn't there saying, it's all right, my boy, you can do it. We made that decision ourselves. Mm-hmm. So... Mm-hmm.